My wife's family have invited her ex round to stay while I'm there and prefer him over me. It's time to take action. I, 35 meters, have been with Abby 35 feet for 13 years now. With each passing day, my love for her grows and we are now expecting our first child. During the holidays, we typically spend two to three months visiting her family. However, this year was different. The family filled with excitement about Alan, a name I'd never heard before. Abby seemed indifferent, so I assumed Alan was just some distant cousin. To my surprise, Alan turned out to be Abby's ex and first love. What was weird was that despite Abby and him being apart, and despite the man living in Europe, her family still have contact with him and decided to invite him over for the holiday while he was in the country. I really tried to get along with Alan, but the man just ignores me and takes every chance to get closer with my wife, making jokes or talking about the past. I didn't take any of it personally as I didn't want to look jealous, but lately he has been coming every day to visit the family. It's gotten to the point of Abby's family comparing his accomplishments to mine. They're all big fans of Alan, and I honestly feel jealous of that because they're treating him better than me. Two days ago, I overheard Abby's mom and brother discussing how wonderful it would have been if Abby had stayed with Alan, given his intelligence. What hurt me most was hearing my brother-in-law suggest trying to reunite Abby and Alan, to which the mom responded with laughter, joking about preferring trips to Europe over visits to the countryside where I live on a farm with Abby. This farm life was Abby's dream, seeking a tranquil environment. In fact, now that I'm no longer blindfolded, I'm starting to notice how my brother-in-law makes too many comments to my wife about how great Alan is. What's great is that Abby never says kind things about Alan, and I think she even treats him like he's a child. I don't feel comfortable being here knowing that they see me as a dumb peasant, and it's horrible to see how they try to include Alan in the family when they still treat me like I'm just a casual boyfriend of Abby's. My wife only sees her family three months of the year, and I don't want to ruin that or put that kind of stress on her since she's pregnant. I feel like I'm in some kind of rom-com, but I'm in the role of the bad husband, that the protagonist leaves for the handsome CEO. Relevant comments, what does your wife say? When I found out Alan is an ex of hers, she just said, ah, yes, I dated him for two months when I finished high school and made a disgusted face. I couldn't ask more because she has been really tired with her pregnancy and don't want to stress her more. Update yesterday, I found out that my wife was cheating on me with Alan the whole time. Just kidding. I decided to talk with Abby about what I had heard. We were in our room and I calmly discussed what her mother and brother had said. However, as soon as I finished, Abby kissed my forehead and, despite her pregnant belly, hurried out of the bedroom to confront everyone in the living room. No one spoke except for an aunt, who tried to justify their behavior by claiming they were just joking. I responded that these jokes were uncomfortable and disgusting. At some point, Abby told her mother, Whether you like it or not, I'm married to this man. I'm going to have this baby with him and many more, so shut up and bear with it. Then my wife confronted her brothers and took them aside for a private talk. My brothers-in-law spoke with me and admitted that they had acted the way they did because they thought I had forced Abby to marry and live on a farm away from her family. In reality, it was Abby's idea to have a private wedding and live on the farm. They apologized and expressed embarrassment, admitting they had only invited Alan to mess with me. Afterwards, most family members apologized. Abby declared that she didn't want Alan in the house while we were there, stating she wouldn't forbid them from talking to him but didn't want him near her due to discomfort. When the mother-in-law tried to complain, Abby simply said, shut up, mom, and left the living room with me. In the bedroom, Abby confessed that she too felt uncomfortable around Alan, but had remained silent as he was a family friend. She had only made passive-aggressive comments to him, like when she warned him not to touch her belly again after he did so without asking. Abby once told Alan she disliked being touched by others, but he dismissed her feelings and left her speaking alone. I felt foolish for not realizing how uncomfortable my wife was, as she often stayed in the bedroom, citing pregnancy fatigue when Alan was in the house. Curious, I asked Abby why she broke up with Alan, who seemed charismatic. She explained that he always acted like a Noah toll and patronized her, making her feel irrelevant. She didn't discuss this relationship much, as it wasn't significant to her. She considered me her first love, not Alan. We apologized to each other for not communicating better and promised to be more open about our feelings. Yesterday we went on a date and upon returning, my mother-in-law, though still unfriendly, apologized to my wife. Abby insisted she apologized to me too, leading to a conversation where we agreed to be civil for the sake of Abby and the baby. We decided to stay in one of my hotel rooms during future visits, even if it's a three-hour drive, to ensure our comfort. A three-minute stay at my in-laws has always been exhausting, so this change was overdue. As for Alan, he's out of the picture now. I sent him a message explaining why he can't return and why I don't want him near my wife. He blocked me without responding, but if he hasn't understood, I have no problem addressing it face-to-face. -face. Bosh. Follow for stories daily.